In the world of data science, we can use many different platforms to analyze and work with data. But currently, most preferred platform is Python and R. These both are open source platform which provides multiple libraries to explore and work with data science. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will explore the difference between Python and R in the field of data science, that is Python versus R. Both R and Python are good for data science. They both are open source and provide multiple libraries to explore. In this video, we will see and discuss some differences between both languages. You can select the language according to the property suits your requirement the best. Python was released in 1989, whereas R was developed in 1992. Python is a general purpose object oriented programming language that emphasizes code readability whereas R is optimized for statistical analysis and data visualization. R has rich ecosystem with complex data model and elegant tools for data reporting. Python offers some awesome libraries that support data science tasks. For example, NumPy, which is used for large dimensional arrays. We have Pandas for data manipulation. And there are also specialized tools for deep learning, for example, TensorFlow. Similarly, numerous number of packages are available via the comprehensive R archive network, also known as CRAN. These are for both simple as well as advanced deep analytical tasks. R provides large variety of libraries and tools for things like cleansing data, creating visualization and deep learning algorithms. R is commonly used using R Studio IDE, whereas we have different IDE to work with Python. For example, PyCharm, Jupyter Notebook, etc. Mostly for data analytics and data science, Jupyter Notebook is used. Both Python and R are widely supported by large communities. Python is considered as a multi-purpose language. It has a readable syntax that is easy to learn. On the other hand, R is built by statisticians and lean heavily into statistical models. You can select one of the above by asking yourself two basic questions. Number one, do you have any experience in programming? If none, then R is more preferable for you. You can still offer Python. This is just a suggestion. The second question you can ask yourself is, do you care about awesome looking visualization and graphics? If yes, then you can go with R. Well, by using Python also, you can generate multiple visualization, but you need to import different libraries for it. The selection all depends on what problems you are trying to solve. In this channel, we will see further videos where we will perform data science and analytical tasks using both R and Python. If you like this video, stay tuned for my next tutorial. And yes, don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe yourself to our channel. If you have any comments or confusion, feel free to reach out through comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day and stay tuned.